dive into some breaking inputs coming in as far as the Congress party is concerned and the Congress presidential polls drama continues. Shashi Tharoor has now made a sensational remark. He said, and I quote, in several PCCs, leaders were welcomed and met Kharge Sahab. It wasn't done for me. I visited the PCCs, but the PCC chiefs were not available. Not complaining, but do you not see a difference in treatment? That is now a question being posed by Shashi Tharoor. Let's also listen into what he had to say. ठीक है पहली बात यह है कि मैं मिस्त्री साहब के खिलाफ कुछ नहीं बोलना चाहता था सिस्टम में कुछ कमियां है हम सबको पता है बाईस साल से चुनाव नहीं चले तो जैसे कि हमने एक लिस्ट दिया था तीस तारीख को फिर पिछले बुधवार को हमें एक और लिस्ट मिला कल नहीं एक हफ्ते पहले पहला लिस्ट में तो फोन नंबर नहीं थे किसी के तो लोगों को कैसे संपर्क करें कभी कभी हमें एक नाम था और ब्लॉक का नाम था या नाम था एक आधा एड्रेस था लेकिन फोन नंबर नहीं था तो लोगों को संपर्क करना मुश्किल था फिर फोन नंबर्स मिले लेकिन दोनों लिस्ट में काफी अंतर थे नाम भी अलग थे और कोई नाम जो पहला लिस्ट में था सेकंड लिस्ट में नहीं था जो सेकंड लिस्ट में था फोन नंबर्स दो कुछ नाम नहीं थे जो पहला लिस्ट में इस किस्म के कोई गैप से मैं, मैं तो मेरे ये शिकायत नहीं कि ये जानबूझ के कर रहे हैं प्रॉब्लम यह है कि हमारी पार्टी में कई साल से चुनाव नहीं हुए हैं देखिए आप लोग जरा बात करने अगर कम करेंगे तो ये लोग सुन सकेंगे ना मैं जो बोल रहा हूं प्लीज तो 22 साल से चुनाव नहीं चले हमारे पार्टी में इसलिए ये हुआ है कि कुछ गलतियां हुई है मैं मुझे पता है कि मिस्त्री साहब और उनकी टीम बहुत फेयर एंड फ्री इलेक्शन चलाने की कोशिश में बैठे हैं और हम उनके खिलाफ कोई शिकायत नहीं कर रहे हैं लेकिन सिस्टम में कमियां हैं ये तो क्लियर है और इसलिए मैंने माध्यमों को ज्यादा इस्तेमाल कर रहा मेरे संदेश के लिए क्योंकि मुझे सत्रह तारीख तक मुझे कोई गारंटी नहीं होगी मैं सब लोग के साथ संपर्क करें सब लोग को मुझे मैसेज पहुंचाएंगे क्योंकि कैसे पहुंचाएंगे फोन कर सकते हैं अगर फोन नंबर वैलिड नहीं है तो फोन पे नहीं चलेगा व्हाट्सएप भेज सकते हैं यही प्रॉब्लम है हम हमारे जो मैनिफेस्टो वगैरह है घोषणा पत्र ये तो मैंने रिलीज किया लेकिन अगर लोग पीसीसी नहीं आएंगे लेने के लिए तो शायद वहां भाई उसको पता नहीं चलेगा तो अंत में आप लोगों से बात करके मेरी उम्मीद है कि शायद कोई डेलीगेट्स हो जो मुझसे डायरेक्टली संपर्क नहीं हो जाए लेकिन आपके माध्यम से आपके मार्ग से वो लोग जानते हैं कि मैं क्या चाहता हूं पार्टी की तो इस All right, for more details, let's quickly go across to our political editor, Pallavi Ghosh, who's joining us on the phone line. Pallavi, uh, clearly, Shashi Tharoor couldn't uh, mince his words. He said it very clearly that there was preferential treatment being meted out to him versus Kharge. Yes, and this is exactly what we have been reporting earlier, that even though Mr. Malikarjun Kharge and uh, Mr. Tharoor are supposed to be on the same page, and there is going to be no preferential treatment given to any, but that's not really the case. Unofficially speaking, uh, Kharge emerges as an official candidate. There's a pr pr uh, proper method, there's an organization, the media department, the PCC delegates, all of them have made special arrangements for him. And finally, Shashi Tharoor, the PAG ends because elections are taking place on Monday. We've got another three days to go. He concedes that there are occasions when he feels that he's not got that kind of treatment which he should have got. In fact, today when he was speaking from the Delhi Congress office, the crowd was minimal. If you go by the uh, the, the points which and guidelines which have been issued by the Congress party, very categorically mentioned, no PCC delegate is supposed to show preference for anyone. They're supposed to make an equal arrangement for both the candidates, whoever wants to come and campaign over there. Clearly, the Delhi Congress office, those are not the arrangements which were there in place. Absolutely, Pallavi. Also, do you think that, you know, going by what uh, Shashi Tharoor himself had to state in his manifesto, he's been strongly vouching for how important it is to give uh, more power to grassroots party bearers, as well as, you know, the uh, the uh, Congress Pradesh, uh, the Congress committees as well at the smaller levels. Having said that, he's also been someone who wants to decentralize the authorities. That means that he was someone who was also challenging the authority uh, that has been wielded by the Gandhi so far. Do you think that's worked against him? 
I, I think the Congress the top leadership will ever be comfortable with someone like a Tharoor as a president. I mean, if you look at his hashtag, think tomorrow, think Tharoor, <clears throat> clearly he's gone on record to say that while Kharge uh, epitomizes continuity, I am actually standing for that change. Uh, Tharoor is also supposed to be someone who has his own mind. And I don't think there would be a sense of comfort on some section of the Congress party is concerned. And that could be one reason why he certainly started off at a disadvantage. All right, many thanks to you, Pallavi, for bringing in all those details.